Hello, everybody. It's Melissa from Melissa's Minis and More. Thank you guys for being here. For everybody that, that shows up for my videos on the regular and for all my new subscribers, guys. I didn't even realize I looked back and for the last 28 days, I've gained 108 subscribers. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. Thank you all. Thank you all. For everybody that, like I say, keeps coming back. And for all the new people, I'm so happy. So, um, nothing serious here, okay? Just, this is all, we have fun and we learn and we do things. But, um, it's for fun. We have a good time and we laugh a lot. Um, and I keep finding these little journey hairs, which is my poodle. Um, my little black standard poodle. I think I had used my scissors on her, and then I used my scissors in here, <laughs> and voila. She doesn't shed, but, you know, um, she has hair, just like we do. Okay, so I'm going to do a mix of um, Color Street and Shabella, which if you've never seen Shabella, um, the premium strips, I love them. This is another set. I'll be doing this one, too, soon. Is this not beautiful? I had a hard time deciding. Um, <clears throat> the only thing is, I gotta get the names for them because they're on the invoice, but they're not on the box or the strip. So, they come in a full packet like this, um, and I reseal them, and they go on really nicely. Uh, so, I just love this one. I know it's got the word coffee in it, um, and I get them from, her name is Anna, she's got a, um, Facebook page. It's always linked down below, but if you just want to search it, let me tell you what it's called. Um, it is called Shabella, and that's S-H-I-B-E-L-L-A, nail strips, comma, in cocoa, C-S, and more unicorns. That's a mouthful. Anyway, it's linked down below. It'll say Anna, and you'll see where it says um, you can join her Facebook group, and then you, you can um, order not only this, but you can also order um, in Cocoa, which is Color Street. I mean, it was in Cocoa first. So, anyway, ah, so let's get started. So, this is a, such a pretty little um, pattern. This is Upper East Side, which I had a few strips left, and I thought I'm going to use them because, um, you know, I wanted to just use them where I had strips. So, I just made up this will be my ring finger and my pointer. And I thought also that I might like do a little something something in the center of the flowers to give them a little extra bang for the buck, you know. Oop. Oh my gosh, let's start off right. <laughs> that's the way it goes around here. Um, that's just the way it goes. So, uh, my husband's working over today. And... Um, Yesterday evening was eventful here at our house. Uh, we live in Tennessee, so I don't know if anybody else had the storms that we had. Well, it's oddly enough, it wasn't even a storm. Like, it was just wind and some rain, no thunder or lightning or anything like that. Um, and it just, the wind blew really hard for just a few minutes and then just almost as soon as it stopped blowing, our power just went boom, and it was gone. There was no blinking or trying to reset or anything like that. It was just like, okay. Um, and there was literally, there's a an area not far from where we lived. It's called Stone Drive, and it's like the big strip through uh, Kingsport, which has um, got all kinds of like shopping malls and you know, every town's got one, right? Um, the whole thing was black. Um, and so we were out long enough that my husband was like, I think I'm going to have to set up the generator because ours is not one that's like, you know, we built our house in 2007, so it's not one of the ones that automatically kicks over. I wish it was, but he had to drag the thing around to the back of the house, figure out which breakers would power his CPAP machine because he has to have that and um so and our you know our fridges because we have a beef we always keep a beef and stuff so um you know all the things <laughs> trying to find some candles and flashlights and our dogs were just so confused they had no idea what was going on and um so about the time 
I mean, it was, it was a while. It was out a while. Um, but about the time that we got everything situated, oh, it was out about two or three hours, it came back on. <laughs> I was just like, well, uh, now we know which breakers go to what. And trust me, I was thankful that it came back on. But I think it just in our neighborhood and two others that are close to us. Wow, that's so pretty. I don't know why I don't wear this more. I know why, because I keep coming out with more stuff, but anyway, um, gosh, I was making sure I had, um, actually hit record. I do that every time. Um, so, but yeah, 14,000 guys in just a very small area were out of power, and that was just that little area. I don't know how many total were out, so if you all had storms, let me know if you all had storms like that. So I'm thinking this is the one I use for my ring finger every time I have to think about it when I'm cutting them off the pack. And I try to do that ahead of time so I don't uh, take so long. Um, I like these, you know, um, when I put on this finger, I'll show you how I stretch my strips. Um, and it just, they these actually have a good little stretch to them. Um, and I like that. I like the fact they, they don't really feel plasticky. They come off with a um, polish remover, um, just like your regular strips do. Give them that good little stretch there and fold it over. This is a really cute, and I'm going to put some gems on here, so that will make that one gem come out like right there if I do it on all of them. I don't know if I do it on all of them, but um, that'll be really cute to the side where I'm going to put them. And I've got some cut up here for thinking about what I want to do on my thumb, maybe. Thumbs. I have two of them. I have to remind myself, ooh, quit doing that, Mel, uh, that when I have on pilly base to not um, use my finger scrolls. Oh, did you see my nail bend? I've been in a lot of water today. Um, and they are very soft right now. You saw that just go. Um, so they do get soft, um, which I guess everybody's does. So, yikes. Um, all right, come off there. I should be using my tweezers. Okay, I'll just throw it over here. Um, so yeah, we, we got to hang out in the dark last night. I told my husband I was just gonna listen to a, a book uh, I had I had charged my been really good girl and had my phone battery extra battery that I keep with me all the time um, plugged up to my phone it had charged the night before so it was fully charged and my <laughs> I mean most importantly my earbuds <laughs> were fully charged so I was like I'm gonna listen to a book so I mean that the, the blackout was not so bad so, but, uh, oh, come on. I don't want to be under this one. So, if you're filing, file, like, just lay your nail on top of it. Um, these are a little bit thicker, so they're not thick, thick, though, like, um, some of the other off brands. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, so here's Color Street, and the way that I like to apply my strips is... Marie calls me this, what is it, the Strip Ripper. <laughs> I thought it was down like one day I said it. I said, oop, okay. Did you see that? It sets a little bit, has a little bit of age on it. And or it's been opened and resealed. So it's got that little piece that's just wanting to run my day. So if you just get the other side started and then can apply it at the other end, whoop, it'll be fine. If your nails are not real real long you can use both sides um you know one strip will do two nails which is always always cool when you can have that um so i like to sit it right in front of the cuticle back here tap it down now if this was strip would have been too wide for it which well if it's too wide we can stretch it um lengthwise if it's too narrow, you can actually stretch it the other direction. But I always give them a little pull. And I usually just kind of let it lay on my 
pointer finger until I'm done working with it. Um, and then that way I can kind of feel the, I guess, the integrity of the strip, like how it is as far as, is it hanging in there, Mel, or is it getting ready to snap and break? And then I fold them over. And it makes for the nicest application, um, I think. Anyway, um, that's purely my opinion. Uh, but this is just the way that I apply my strips. And if you've never stretched strips like that, take some twosies if you got them and try it. You'd be amazed. You can feel when they're getting ready to break. Like you can feel when you've gone too far. And overlays are much more, much more easy to break than just a regular strip. And then I would say glitters are probably next. And I think it's because of, you know, the disbursement of the glitter. It seems like the solids are the best when it comes to stretching, actually. Well, that seems unusual, but um, I think that they are anyway. So, if Anna doesn't message me while I'm doing this video, I will put the name of the uh, this coffee-colored one in, uh, in the comments. But this brown is Upper East Side. That's the name of it. So, oh, so okay. You think the worst happened there, right? No, not really. It's folded under. Done. It was already stretched out there anyway. Um, so, yeah, I am a strip ripper. <laughs> this sounds so bad. <laughs> strip ripper. Um, not intentionally. I usually try not to rip them. Um, I don't like to see people like pull them out and then ah, do it like that. Um, like, wow karate chop them off or something. I don't know. It just bothers me, but here I am ripping them off, so I can't say anything. But I don't intentionally. I don't intentionally rip them. Um, so, anyway. Gosh, it won't be long until it'll be time to start cranking out some Valentine's manicures. My anniversary is on Valentine's Day. Um, which I don't, we don't really celebrate Valentine's Day. Um, I just feel like it's, I always dare my husband to get me roses either on Valentine's Day. I'm like, don't you dare. They're too expensive. Um, they price gouge everybody on Valentine's Day. So he always, I'll be, be like, just give me some just because roses sometimes. So sometimes when I'm having a hard day, um, I'll, I'll the delivery van will show up and I'll get some flowers. So I would rather have them like that than him pay a fortune for him on Valentine's Day. And, uh, so yeah. But, I was a bad doggy mom and forgot to feed my dogs lunch. So, they just got their, um, you can see right there, like here on this, this nail. I'm not like showing you just my middle finger there. Let's do a little bit of, this is all it takes for him to come off. Um, they're very easy, very soft. Um, that would take a little bit to come off of there. You can leave them folded under like this and let them cure. Um, it, they're 95% dry, so, I mean, ooh, I love that. So pretty. So good, so good. So, um... If you haven't checked out, if you've been watching Wednesday and you haven't ch checked out my Wednesday and Enid video, check those out. Wednesdays just came off today. I've had them on since last Thursday and today is Wednesday. And other than grow out, they had a tiny bit of wear on my middle finger and on my thumb. And I mean, we had Christmas here on, we had Christmas on New Year's here at my house. So uh, you can, uh, you know, wash some dishes and I wrapped gifts with those nails on and everything because I had not wrapped anything. Um, so uh, they held up amazingly well. And it was just one coat um, and a top coat. Wee, that's pretty. Now I gotta decide, like, um, you know, what I'm gonna do when it comes to the, the gems. That's always a hard thing for me because I'm very indecisive. So what I usually do is I'll do one hand one way and one hand another, and then that gives you guys an opportunity to see which you like the best. 
so and it doesn't bother me to have them you know two different ways so I just thought this set was just so cute so like I, like I said I try to kind of smooth it as I go let it hang here on my my index finger pointer finger whatever um, and once you see that you've reached out over, I always have a little bit of cleanup on this one because if I stretch it enough to get that out of the way, it will break. Ask me how I know. <laughs> it's because I broke a lot of them on my thumb before. See, there's always that little tiny bit right there, but it's easy enough to get with this thing right here. So... So I plan to do in the near future. Um, I want to do uh, the stained glass window that was in in Enid and um, Wednesday's room. Like I want to do one nail um, that's black and white, and then the other stained glass window um, with all the color. And then just graduate the nails like the rest of these would be black and then these would be color or vice versa whichever way i did the nails um man this is pretty just like this um or i think it is anyway but that is kind of my next thing and i probably will create that strip on clara's day um just because i'm going to be using some different overlays and then i don't know what all i'll be using um I know I'm going to be using the spider web because it seems like um, it's not a spider web, obviously, but I think I can use some of it cut out to make the lines. So that's one of the things that I've got planned. And I got some new um, decals, water decals. Um, so I'll probably be breaking some of those out before long. This nail's different. I don't have, see, I don't have very much over here on this side. So different. So I'm, I'm right-handed, but the hand that I take my photos of is my right hand, which means I've learned to do things, you know, on my nails with my non-dominant hands. So it's always good to practice, you know, um, you know, but these are, ooh, these are cute. I like them. So this was the color that I was thinking about using, which is this just kind of coffee color uh, stone here. Um, I'd look through them and I just thought those look cute. Um, I thought about maybe putting them inside this largest flower. Um, and then I don't want it to be too busy I mean, I, you can always put one back here, you know, um, also. And, you know, I don't know. Maybe it would look better to just put one. Let's see. I don't want to be too indecisive because this is going to be, I want it to be a really long video. I can lay one down. Whoop, come here. And just see. Well, that's kind of cute, isn't it? Like if I did it, um, like I don't know. It's kind of small, though. Um, or inside the flower. Now, if I was live, y'all could say, hey, I, want, I think it looks better here or there, you know. It is my goal to do a YouTube. Oh, there was my thing. Let's see if that was Anna. <laughs> it was. Let's see what she says. She probably will have to go back and look. Let's see. She just said hi. So, okay. I like it in the flower. So, I'm going to put them in the flower, and then we'll see. Okay. So, um, anyone can buy Shabella online. You don't have to belong to her group. That was one of the questions that I had answered, had asked her when she watches this back. Um, so, I, she just gave me the link, which I will put in. Um, I will add that to the description box. Now, her, um, she's going to look for the name of this set. God love her. Uh, the, 
So her group on Facebook is in there too, but she has a lot of good stuff. She also in orders in Cocoa Japan and stuff also. Um, and then, so you, to be in there to get like in, the in Cocoa stuff, you have to be in her group. But Shabella, you can just go straight to her link in order. So I will definitely put that down there in the um, in the description box. So let me get some of these out. Actually, let me think about what I want to do to my thumb. Whether I was trying to decide whether I wanted to put this down the middle. I did this before and I really liked it. Like I, I had one down the middle, but this flower is a little bit big. And then I have thought about, well, maybe doing um, these down the side would be kind of cool. It would be different. So like I always say, if you're going to try anything different, um, let's see. She seemed to be so many things. Let's see. I'm just going to see if I can give you the name of these. Um, okay. Alrighty. So this set right here is called Coffee Cream Roses. And I will put the, um, the, the link if you want to order those. And then there's two other sets I ordered. Ordered the Bohemian Wrap. And then another one called Star Quality. So I'm going to start running. But this one is called Coffee Cream Roses. So, okay. I know we don't normally do this, but I felt like it would be good to to go ahead while I, I could, could have her. <laughs> she get, okay. Okay. She also, for Encoco, she has a Yumi Who. Okay. Alrighty. So I will put both of those down there. Alrighty. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, Anna, I'm going to mute you for just a minute. <laughs> she, she can't, she can't fuss at me for doing that either because, uh, okay, let's see. I don't want this. How long are we in it? 22 minutes. That means get on with it, mail. Get on along with it. I'd love to have that come out to a really big point. Let's see to a sharper point, which looks like it would go on the other side if I do that. My skin is very dry, so, excusey, 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 excusey. Um, so, and I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not sure at all, but um, the other one, I don't know, we'll just see. Um, on the other finger, I might just leave it plain. I don't know. Um, I'll see how I feel about this one before I probably add anything to the other one. That way, if I decide that I want to uh, just have one plain, then I won't have to uh, redo this. Or if I think I might want to do that, then I can always... Eh, eh. Don't. Don't do that. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm going to try to pull this around here to come out to the point. To come out to the point. All right. Yeah, I'm liking that. They match well enough that I think that it will look fine. And when I top coat it, oh, that would be cute with a little, little something, something in the middle of that. If I had a little coffee mug or something, that'd be really cute. Okay. All right. So let's get on with it. Let's get on with putting these gems on these for right now. And then I will do the other, whoop, do the other hand. Or maybe I might do them all. It just depends. Okay. So OPI is my glue. I don't use, don't use nail glue. Um, for one, I've never had never had the need or I, I mean this does wonderful this is opi plumper and trust me this stuff is like amazing as a top coat and as a glue and the best thing about it well the worst thing about it is it starts getting thick before you ever run out of it but the good thing about it this this bottle is not really thick yet it's, it's just on the verge of starting to get thick but once it starts getting thick it makes even more amazing glue. <laughs> so I save mine um, when they start getting thick because I'm like, well, I'll use that, you know? Okay. So this one, the 
flowers are just not placed to where, I mean, there's one here on the very end, but let's do this one. This one's got some, one right here. And I don't know how they are on the other hand. I haven't even looked. That's how prepared I am, nor do I have out any more gems. Come here, okay, flip over, okay. Alrighty. So, gems are something that, um, yeah, I think it needed that. I have like to push them down a little bit once I get them where I want them. Sometimes I'll even take my fingernail once I get it exactly where I want it and just give it a firm push. And then I will go back over it. Um, or I just really don't want to put any more on this one because I don't think it's got flowers in the right spots. Then go back over it. Um, almost flood it. Really just, just flood around where your, your gem is. And I've never, and I can vouch and say this, I have never lost a gem. I've never, I've never lost a charm. I do my charms the same way. So it's a good plug for OPI. Um, they are just, it's wonderful to not have to put glue on there. So, oh, these are really cute. Really, really cute. Makes me now decide, want to decide whether I want to put them there. So this would be the ham that I would experiment on because, like I say, I, this is the one that I photograph. So I always top coat. So let me go ahead and pull out um, a few of these. Flip them over before I start trying to mess with them. There's that one. Ooh, there's more on there than I thought. Come on. Off there. I thought I'd pulled one off of there, off my hand, but I didn't. I hope I'm in frame. I have not even been paying any attention. Oh, there it went. Okay. Um, I had got a new phone, and so I had to kind of reset everything. Now everything's going to fall off the floor. I got stuff in the way. Everybody else is so organized, y'all, and I'm just like... I don't know, not, I guess is a good word to put it. I'm not, but I can't help it. I'm just me. Whoop. So this little thing's got a little magnet in it that just help, will pick them up. And then if you need to move it around, you can use this end of it and, you know, put it where you want it. I think that's a good spot. Yeah decide what we're going to do on this thumb here as well. Plus, I will come back and put another coat over this because normally I would just put one layer of top coat. But since they have a cute little gem on here, I will definitely be putting... Um, oops, I need to scoot up. Plus, I actually smeared it a little bit. But when the other coat goes on there, you won't you won't notice it. Stop moving around. Stay right there. Make sure you're seeing the middle. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see. Well, it needs something. It needs something. So, let's go ahead and just go for it. Um, this would have to be top coated anyway because I have two strips that are together. So, let's do that and sit our little stone here, or gem rather, there. It needs to be put on just a little bit. I keep them all about the same. Yeah. Those are cute. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll just go back and top coat over this where I've put the uh, gems. And I like to give them a liberal uh, dose of top coat, like I say. Um, and then that way they will not come off. So, so if you're new here, I'm not a stylist. Uh, I, uh, 
just just use the color street uh, as you can see I also use other other strips um, and I usually put up videos on um, <laughs> let me think I think it's it's Tuesday and Friday normally are the days that I put up videos however if there's a holiday or something coming up then I'll do more Manny's um, you know and there'll be more there might be some on the weekend or something like that. Okay, so let's see. I may just leave one hand as is, other than I will top coat it like this. And then this one will be the bedazzled hand. <laughs> let's call it that. So you all tell me, um, which one do you like? I don't know. I like them both. But you know, I always say I'm a solid girl living in a glitter world. I need to get myself a shirt that says that. Um, so I would probably just go with this if it was me. So there's that one. And then here is this one. It's got the, um, I need to stand up so I can see. Um, it's got the, um, the other stones and stuff on it. And the thumbs. So there you go. There's both of them. So anyway, thank you all for hanging out with me today, and I will get the links in the description box for Shabella, for this, these strips, and uh, for Anna's page is always linked in there, Facebook group, and I think her Yumi Who, she gave me the link for that, so uh, Yumi Who, she says, is a pre-order. Some of them are, yes, and but she does have some on hand, so I think that for the in Coco. And you, me, who, for anything other than these, you need to be in her Facebook group. But like I said, it's down there as well. So, alrighty. There you go. These turned out super cute. So, after I get some cuticle oil on them later this evening, I love them. Thanks for hanging out with me so much today. And you all have a great evening. i got to reach around to get the button. I hope I don't shake y'all too bad. See you later. Bye.